Coming in from downtown with the thigh strength of a deranged horse, Nezuko knocks it out of the fucking park! So, how's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? Some of you may remember a couple episodes ago uh, that I had said something along the lines of, I want the dress demon from this season to uh, crack my spine in half. It has been brought to my attention that this demon is 13 years old. My bad, I'll never love a drawing again. I hereby rescind my request to have her crack my spine in half. In my defense, though, these animators are fucked. This character looks like she could be one of Tengen's 20 year old wives. And you all saw I did my due diligence with the wives. This just goes to show you, you're never safe when watching anime. Uh, that being said, and moving away from this subject as quickly as possible, let's get on to some Demon Slayer. Because this episode promises that things are about to get real flashy. Something a lot of you have also been commenting is that this uh, season gets absolutely wild after this episode. So looking forward to that. All right, let's get into it. Oh, that is a good hug. Tengen is a primo cuddler. That wasn't even a hug. That was a that was a straight up snuggle. Oh! Oh, the bandages are coming off. Oh, his swords look sick. God, she looks like Doctor Octopus like that, or you know, like prostitute uh, Octa Poot. Some hack is right. Your sword is chewed to bits, dude. <laughs> What? Tandra, where is this emotional crisis coming from? Have some confidence, my guy. There we go, man. Glad we could get through that. I'm proud of you. Now go cut that chicken half. Oh! Oh no, I'm getting hyped. Oh no! After image, baby! Yo, after images are hands down the coolest anime technique. Yes, dude! Let's go! Get the hell out of here! This is the worst time for this Coraline character to intrude with a flashback. <laughs> Why are you so mean? Eating people, I understand. You know, a demon's gotta eat. I'm not unreasonable. But a mean attitude is something I will not tolerate. <laughs> Anosuke's loving this. Oh my god, please stop this. Wow, I hate this. He looks like a worm on a string. He'll crawl, flip, and perform. It's your new favorite friend. Does anyone else notice that Anosuke loves to say the word belly? He says it a ton in Mugen Train, like my girlfriend noticed too. I don't know, I mean, whatever. Anosuke's got a thing for bellies. <laughs> This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Why is Inosuke being attacked by a rejected Dora the Explorer character now? Can we get the camera off this thing? I keep waiting for her to scream. Chocolate. I remember when they first invented chocolate. I always hated it. Look at this arc! Remember in season one, Inosuke didn't give a shit about helping people? Look at how far little piggies come. Okay, thank God, these ones I can simp for. Oh shit, here comes Sleepy Boy! Okay, yeah, that's like pretty standard Zenitsu shit right there. I'm just saying it's gonna take a lot more for him to trick me into liking him again. Alright, Chuck and Larry! You guys are great, never change, you're the best. Yes! Let's see him fight! Woo! Yeah, he really sliced that ribbon like a badass. Yo, Tengen's gotta chill with all these style changes. Every day, this show inches closer towards becoming a JoJo spinoff. That's it? A head pat? Didn't you think your wives were dead? Ladies, if I was your man, smooches, hugs, hair, braided, back, massaged. Where do you want to get dinner tonight? I'm thinking Denny's, my treat. No dessert though, I've kind of been having a lot of car troubles lately. Gotta save cash. I'd be taking them home and acting out the entirety of the promiscuous girl music video. Four straight minutes of sexual tension, no payoff. That's right, I know what women like. My point is, Tengen's showing some red flags and he's got a treat his wives better. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes! This is what I want! I fucking love chains, dude! Wait, that's not what I meant. I like chain weapons. Take it easy. That's the kind of shit I want to see out of Tengen, though. You know, I want him swinging around those swords. Dope episode, Tandro and the prostitute demon, or, you know, getting it on. Wait, that's not what I mean. They're fighting. 
Jesus Christ, this is a hard arc to talk about. Why would they make a whole prostitution arc full of children? Huh. <sighs> anyway, cool episode. Can't wait to watch the next one. Oh, what's that, chat? You're saying the video's only halfway over? You said the thumbnail said this was gonna be a double feature? You're saying this is YouTube and not Twitch and this bit is totally falling flat? That's right, baby, double feature! I'm, I'm sick of being so behind on Demon Slayer. We gotta catch up, we gotta keep moving. So, moving on. Since when? Has she always been wearing those shoes? Because no, she hasn't. Oh, well, that's not good. Like, barely. She turned into an onion. A, a sprout, at worst, okay? I'd hardly call this a transformation. Okay, this guy's dead. Hey, guy, I'm definitely gonna need you to get back inside. A teenager is sword fighting a magical 13-year-old prostitute. This is hardly any of your business. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> What do you mean, stay calm? He doesn't have a hand anymore. Also, does your arm even work anymore? It looks like you got sliced in half. You are way out of your depth here, Tanjiro. You're fucked. She just obliterated this town. Tanjiro can barely string two flaming cartwheels together without getting winded. What? What is happening? Yo, what? Did Tanjiro just turn into a fucking demon? Did the Slash turn him into a demon? What is this crazy form Tanjiro just got? Are you fucking kidding me? What did I do wrong? Why is this show emotionally punishing me? I did not just witness Rengoku's father apologize to Tanjiro in the form of a letter and then give Tanjiro the respect and praise that Rengoku had died for and wanted his entire life. That did not just happen! In case any of you in the comments get some crazy idea that that's what just happened, I'm letting you know it didn't, because that would be fucked. That would be absolutely devastatingly fucked to put me through more emotional abuse in regards to Rengoku. I'm done. I've made my peace. We, we're finished. Let me have closure. You stabbed me in the heart. That's fine. Quit twisting the knife. Yo! Oh my god, he took her leg! What is happening right now? Where did this come from? <laughs> I love how some episodes are like inexplicably edited by an edgy 13 year old. Like, tell me that's not an effect you would find in a My Chemical Romance music video. Also, Tanjiro's dad looks like a badass. Yo, let's get those gains, Chuck and Larry! Every day, back day, chest day, arm day, thighs, buys, tries, every single day. The grind don't stop for the mice. Yo, look at this reverse arc. Tanjiro's not even trying to understand the demons anymore. Like, he just wants to slaughter them. Look at this fucking Shadow Tanjiro arc going on. Also, wait, where the hell is Nezuko? Has she not been cracked out of the box by now? He's too fucking sick. I'm buying this fucking game. Can somebody Steam gift me the game? If I, if I could buy this game, I would not stop playing it. If I, if I could justify buying it, I would. But I don't know if I can, but I need to play it. <laughs> okay, this is slowly becoming more and more uncomfortable. Like, I am becoming unbelievably nervous for this demon. I have no doubt in my mind, Tanjiro's about to mutilate this woman. Dude, stop! Stop, Tanjiro is terrifying, dude! Look at those eyes! Now is not the time for these little girls! Look, not to be weird, dude, but Tanjiro, you gotta stop thinking of little girls mid-fight. This is your second time, and it's really affecting your performance. Yo, remember when everybody used to use the episode where Tanjiro kills the spider demon as, like, the peak example of anime at its finest? Every episode of this season so far, I feel has surpassed that episode. Animation-wise, this season is unreal. Let's get it, Nezuko! Go! 
coming in from downtown with the thigh strength of a deranged horse, Nezuko knocks it out of the fucking park! That was hype, dude! That was crazy! Oh my god. Oh my god, my voice is obliterated. I'm never doing a double feature again. Dude, she blew the top of her fucking head off! Yo, I love Nezuko's fucking thighs of steel. Oh no, her thighs of steel! Yo! Yo! Nezuko's unchained, baby! A and a plant! That's... Cool? Oh my god, I feel like I haven't seen her mouth in years. Imagine all the exciting new things she'll chew. You know, it actually makes sense Nezuko's a plant. Because this chick's about to get fucking stumped! That was, hands down, the best episode of any anime I've ever seen. Right? Like, like that episode didn't quit. Dude, the pacing in this show has been non-stop. Especially, <laughs> you ready for me to upset people? Especially considering that Attack on Titan Season 4 is happening right now, I just caught up. And let me tell you, Attack on Titan is way harder to watch week to week than it is to binge. So it feels like so little happens in each episode of Attack on Titan that when I get to this, I like can't believe how much substance is in it. Oh my god! Oh my god! The hypest shit I've ever seen! Alright, there's a double feature. Um as I've been saying, I'm trying to make these videos a little longer, uh, so I think from now on, you know, I say from now on, but I think in the future, after Assassination Classroom and excluding Demon Slayer, because I still want to do it week to week, uh, once I catch up, I think I'm gonna bunch the reactions up, so it'll be like, you know, twice a week you'll get like a 15 minute long uh, reaction of like four episodes of an anime. I think that'll help. Uh, the algorithm especially, just with like getting new people, uh, that's kind of been like my big thing because I, you know, a lot of you have been liking the single episodes and I, I don't want to make them longer just by like adding fluff and filler, um, and they've been getting decent views, but I want to, you know, broaden and I want to get more people in and I think having longer videos can help that out a lot. I'm thinking for my next anime, it's gonna be Ranking of Kings. Once I finish Assassination Classroom, I might take a small break from it uh, before doing season two, but I kind of want to do like, I'll release a video that's like the a reaction of like the first five episodes of Ranking of Kings and see how well that does. But as always, uh, like, uh, comment, and share this video around if you thought it was funny and you have friends who like Demon Slayer that may find it funny as well. It really helps out a ton. Uh, the better these videos do, the more that I can make uh, because I can continue to justify making this my job. So yeah, um, I don't know why, why I gave a big outro just now. Just feeling chatty. Just missed you guys, I suppose. And I will see you guys next time. I come from the south side where they feel with the liquor. It drink this and let the body flicker. The water drips on your tongue like honey. Everybody in the sun dressed in the sun dressed and it's sunny out.